A CNC mill, often called a CNC machining center, operates in the same manner as a manual mill except a computer controls the machine's movements instead of an operator. The basic components of a CNC mill include operator interface, controller, spindle, vertical axis, table, horizontal axes, bed, safety doors, and automatic tool changer, or ATC. The operator interface includes a human machine interface, or HMI panel, and an operator panel. The HMI panel includes a display and a manual data input, or MDI unit, which allow the operator to navigate the control system screens and input data as required. The operator panel includes the controls necessary for the operator to control machine operations. Operations performed via the operator panel include selecting the operating mode, starting, stopping the execution of part programs, and manually controlling auxiliary machine functions such as coolant flow. The controller contains a specially designed computer that controls the machine's movements and other functions. It is commonly mounted in the machine's control cabinet or to the back of the HMI panel. The spindle is the component that rotates the tool at high speed to perform the cutting operations on the workpiece. A vertical CNC mill spindle is mounted vertically, while a horizontal CNC mill spindle is mounted horizontally. The spindle accepts tools mounted in special tool holders that allow the tools to be quickly changed by an automatic tool changer. An electric motor or spindle motor rotates the spindle. The spindle's rotation speed and direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, are controlled automatically by signals from the controller or manually using controls on the operator panel. The spindle is mounted to a vertical axis that moves the spindle up and down. An axis defines a linear or sometimes circular direction of movement. A special type of electric motor called a servo motor moves the vertical axis to which the spindle is attached based on signals from the controller or manual inputs from the operator panel. A servo motor provides very precise control of linear movements on a CNC machine because it includes a position feedback device, typically an encoder, which allows the controller to constantly monitor current position and to make adjustments as necessary. The table is a horizontal steel work surface where the workpiece is mounted. This work surface is typically designed with slots, which allow work holding devices to be securely mounted. The work holding device in turn securely holds the workpiece. The table moves side to side and forward backward using two horizontal axes, which are each driven by a servo motor. One servo motor controls the axis that creates side-to-side -side movement, and another servo motor controls the axis that creates forward-backward movement. The bed is the basic structure upon which the CNC machine rests and is typically made of steel or cast iron. This structure must be very rigid in order to ensure that the precision machining tolerances can be maintained by the machine. The safety doors on a CNC machine protect the operator from flying chips, coolant, and other debris while a part is machined. Built-in safety features, such as safety switches on the doors, allow the controller to sense when the safety doors are open and prevent automatic operation of the machine. Most CNC machines are equipped with some type of automatic tool changer, or ATC, that holds multiple tools. The tools required to machine a specific part are loaded into the ATC prior to the machining process. This is typically part of the job setup. Each tool is assigned a specific number and is loaded into the corresponding tool location in the ATC. For example, a tool that is designated as Tool 1 is loaded into Tool Position 1 of the ATC. Therefore, when Tool 1 is called for in a part program or manually by the operator, the ATC loads the tool from Position 1 into the spindle. Before a CNC mill begins its automatic operation, all guards must be in place. The operator must make sure the appropriate tooling, part, and part program are loaded. Once done, the operator presses the cycle start button on the operator panel to start the execution of the part program. As the controller executes a part program, it causes the required tool to be loaded into the spindle, starts the spindle turning in the program direction and at the program speed, and starts the flow of coolant if necessary. As the controller continues to execute the program, it controls the movement of the axes so the table where the part is located and the spindle where the tool is located are positioned so that the desired features are machined on the part.
Whenever the controller encounters a tool change command in the part program, the controller causes the current tool to be removed from the spindle and the next tool to be inserted. This allows the program to run without interruption. Once machining on the part is complete, the operator removes the part from the CNC mill and performs any required measurements on the part. The process is repeated to machine more parts. Identify the components of a CNC mill. In this procedure, you will examine a CNC mill and identify its basic components.